all right so what's going on guys it's your boy darius back at it again with another video as you can tell we're in the shop slop shop slash whatever you want to call it so y'all already know what me what that means for my channel is we're going to do an install we got an install to do <coughs> so by now y'all have already seen the new four-wheeler it is a just in case y'all missed the last video it is a 93 big bear i put my mud lights on it um had to do a little work to it i had to fix the uh gear shifter put a new throttle thumb throttle on it it uh had a little spoon on it but uh let's crank this up so y'all can hear it I ain't used to these carburetor machines now. I'm used to the, the fuel injected big bore shit. I mean, as you can tell, just a just a little 350. So let's go ahead and fire it on. Up. All right. So as you can tell, it runs really good for what we pay for. It's in a little rough shape, but anyways, that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is we're going to install a soundbar on the big bear y'all look at that y'all y'all look at it just just look at that perfect kawasaki right there y'all let her know this is supposed to be on my four wheeler i mean there's a kawasaki emblem on it you know just let her know it's supposed to be on mine i mean just once again kawasaki i mean stock wheels headlights you know it's supposed to be on mine but whatever we're going to install it on hers. So I'm going to go ahead and, and finish unboxing it. I have started unboxing it simply to make sure everything was in it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So there's the control. So you got the controls. You got some instructions. Ooh, sticker. And then this is brackets and all that good stuff. So we're just gonna lay that right there. Now, what we have all waited to see. Oh, that almost ended up very badly. Woo. Ah, look, here we go. Whoopsie. Yeah. All right, so here it is. Planet Audio, Bluetooth. All right, so here it is. Planet Audio sound system. One with the light bar on it, cause the, y'all can just see. So. I'm going to finish getting everything all ready to put on, take the seat off, all that good stuff. And then um, we'll get to this install. Whoopsie. All right, so I got everything unboxed. So this is, this goes to the controller. This is if you had a cigarette outlet. She does not have one on here, so we have to wire it straight to the battery. It also comes with this little contraption right here so we can wire it straight to the battery so your boy about to have some fun trying to wire this thing up so let's go ahead and get this started i guess shoot fit too badly on here seriously might try talking and put it on mine but uh like i said let's finish let's wire this on up okay yep better reach the battery and gotta find somewhere to mount this so let's go ahead and do this 
I'm gonna go ahead and walk right route these this wire and I will catch y'all in a second all right sorry I got a little chilly okay so I've got the cords mount routed I've got the cord routed through here under the gas tank I got it through here I am currently trying to figure out how to I'm currently trying to figure out this whole fuse thing because I don't know if y'all can see it but it says this must be connected to a fuse okay there is no fuse to hardwire straight to the battery obviously not so I'm now trying to figure out what to do because if I plug the cigarette lighter to the adapter that's hardwired to the battery it is always on which is going to drain the battery so that's where i'm at but it works i mean i can plug the little adapter in it works um i don't know i guess i'm gonna finish the uh kind of finish the install and zip tie velcro everything else down and go from there because like i said the video is going to be out of out of order so by the time y'all see this video we're already going to be been roaded and all so we got a couple days i might see if i can find something tomorrow maybe find an inline fuse and go from there i don't know so yeah this is obviously i am not a atv mechanic i'm not an electrician i don't know what i'm doing half the time i just watch youtube videos and i become a shade tree mechanic so uh for right now just gonna finish the install zip tie everything up and then maybe tomorrow we go to rural king or um rural king um advanced daughter or something and maybe find something that i can put between the adapter and the battery because like i said i do not want to leave it plugged up and it'd be hot all the time because that's going to drain the battery so after i figure that out y'all i will pick this video back up well actually after i button everything up do a little play test for y'all and um we're gonna go from there so catch y'all in a second all right so i finally got it all figured out for right now i'm gonna show y'all what i did all right so for right now i just put that that extra slack for the handlebar mount which by the way looks pretty snazzy so i just put all that slack right there i mean i can only do so much with that now this goes to the cigarette lighter so i have that slack over there got it routed through the gas tank and then route it through here zip tied right there that that goes to the battery is out of the way actually it's pretty out of the way pretty good and then i got that zip tied right there got that zip tied right there and the zip tied right here so for right now until i can figure out the whole fuse situation we just got everything plugged up we're gonna plug it up and unplug it right there so let me show y'all what that's gonna look like all right so like this is all we're gonna do oh man it pulls more slack out you know and then we do that lights on it's plugged up man it's pull all right there we go pull a little bit more slack out and then there we go so we're gonna unplug it i'm actually okay. i'm actually about to connect to my phone and we're gonna play y'all some copyright free music right now. all right so i've got it on the big bear is running simply so it doesn't run out the battery because of how we have it mounted and routed and all that good stuff but like i said it's running you can tell it's running so i'm gonna play y'all some 
All right, so I've now got it all routed up. I'm trying to find y'all some copyright free music to listen to. And then I'm going to play it while the four wheeler's off. Play it while the four wheeler's on and let y'all see that if y'all can really tell. So here we go. So it's actually really loud. I like it. Um, only one gripe with it. I know it's a cheaper. It's not really cheap, but it's on the bottom end of the spectrum when it comes to sound bars and all that. I do not trust these Velcro straps at all. I mean, it's got it pretty sturdy, but I feel like one good knot, one way, and it's coming off. I mean, other than that, the install was actually relatively simple. I mean, I could do it. And I'm not an electrician. I'm barely a shade tree mechanic, if you want to be honest with you. But I mean, the install is pretty good. I'm going to clean up my mess. And then when I drive it outside, I'm going to cut the light bar on and let y'all see how bright it is. So, yeah. All right, so let's pull this outside. And... Oops. I might have to fix the seat seat's not on there all the way. Little big bear sounded pretty good, boy. Alright. So like I was saying, this is pretty much how we're gonna do it. Once you see the once you see the red light, you good to go. Still seeing pretty far. At this point, I don't think she even needs a freaking light bar. But like I said, that's that's my two cents. She don't need a light bar. Cause then this is with the headlights on. I mean, that's still pretty good. All right, guys, so that's, that's it for the little install video. I gotta say, for just a little light bar, I think it was like 400 and, wait, the box is over here. Why am I trying to spit facts off to y'all knowing daggone well, I don't even know. It's a 450 watt light bar, and I think it's gonna be pretty good. It was still pretty bright to me. And I mean, I know that's not really a very dark area, but it still showed it pretty good. So I'm going to end off this video. I'm going to go home. Hopefully I will catch y'all out on the trails. 
Y'all be safe. Peace.